All right, so the plan is to uh, put it in there. I'm gonna layer it, so that's why I don't have a whole lot. Uh, I, I wanna put the orange in the, because I can't fit this in the pressure pot. I'm gonna put the orange and the black in here. The black's just gonna be kind of the throw it off. It may blend, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm gonna do some layers and kind of wait for it to get thick, and then I'm gonna put these little spiders in there and just set them on top. And then, <clears throat> that way they stay they might float I might just put them on top right away Let that layer set up and then just hit it with clear after that. And it's just gonna be a, a Platter I guess but am I'm, as I'm doing this right now. I'm having other ideas I might not even have enough for this prep right here right at the moment. I might have to do more but It just doesn't look like enough to me Even with the black <laughs> and, and now I'm not sure what to do here It's a little thin in the middle. I don't really care for that, but I may be putting some more in it so we don't have a clear spot in the middle, you know. <laughs> All right, well, that didn't go so hot. I'm going to finish it anyways. Um, oh, yeah, it's nice and nice and hard now. <laughs> it did not do what I wanted at all. No. Anywho, here we go. Well, that's awesome. Well, dummy forgot to push the play button. So this is my third pour of 300 grams, so roughly 435-ish. And uh, I'm just going to make the, the bubblies go away and cover it up, come back out, check the bubblies again in a little bit. <laughs> it won't let go. <laughs> there we go. Well, that's kind of wonky, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa. Huh. That is not what I needed there. I'm just going to make it. I'm going to cut into that. I might need to fill that. What do you think? Uh, let's put it in that one. All right, I'm gonna dump some uh, some clear on there. Scuff it up a little bit so it holds on better. I'm gonna put some uh, facet clear and then just, just keep it from cutting into too far into that. <clears throat> All right, so I mixed up 100 grams of just the two to one epoxy and then 45 grams of the facet hardener. It's gonna be pretty thin for the most part, so. And I've scuffed this up with like 60 grit. I, I just need that to be a little fuller than what it is. Alright, so Dummy forgot to turn the camera on because he had company. <laughs> so anyways, <clears throat> I stopped. So we're going to try to flatten this off some. You see i got a little ways to go.
I don't know why it's vibrating so bad like this. It's just a chuck or something. I don't know. Uh, you can see it here. It's just, even if I sped it up, I can't make it go away. So I'm going to try to sand that out. And we'll get it flipped back over. I think, I don't know, I didn't get them all out of there. I'm about to go a little deeper. There's a, I got a chatter while I was doing this and it cracked it. I mean, chipped it but I didn't get the chips out yet. And I don't think I can sand that out without rounding everything over, so I can't hold on to it. So I'll get that done, get this sanded, and then we'll see about <laughs> maybe polishing this up. I'm not quite sure what to do with it. <laughs> Let me tell you, that's really ugly. <laughs> I cannot feel that, but boy, can you see it. Uh, hopefully it goes away. I mean, it's just like holding on to the dust. Grab the right container. All right, well, let's see what this thing will do. Uh, <laughs> I know you can't really see it. It's kind of foggy. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the fact that it was the fast set resin as opposed to uh, the slow set. I'm about to put some axe on there and see what we can get. And I only did up to like 220 grit because, you know, I'm lazy and I don't want to sand that much. <laughs> Uh, uh, and I'm hoping that, uh, you know, the axe here takes care of stuff for me. I may have to do it a few times, but it's almost like sanding. <laughs> Put enough on it, I guess. It's just not so dusty this way. See how shiny that is? Just saying, it works pretty good. Get this sanded up and we'll come back in for the abrasive paste. I might have to uh, see how it looks, but touch some of these spots where the legs the legs were sticking up a bit too high. There's a couple spots here and there. There, 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 <laughs> and the whole leg's missing. And somewhere just seen there's part of the leg up there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stick the axe paste stuff on there again. I'm all sanded up to, I don't know, somewhere in a ballpark of 320? Maybe something like that. <laughs> I'm going to rely on this stuff to finish this off. So here it goes, 250 and then up. I can feel the legs. <laughs> the legs wouldn't sand. For some reason, I can feel them with this too. <laughs> well, not too bad, I guess. It's all right to me. Looks all right to me. 
And the best part is, is y'all can't see it from your house. Kind of. <laughs> All right. Let me get it off of here. I'm not going to do anything else to it. I didn't do anything to the other side. I'm going to leave it just like so. We'll get it over there and talk about it or something. James for Texas. Oh, blue line turnings, eh? Alrighty, if I find anything for him, um, that, that's about all I got, James from Texas. <laughs> uh, so if I find anything, I'll put it in the description below. And we'll get him, I cut my fingernails, I can't get this childproof container off the back of this sticker. How about right, right here by the, by the USAA sticker, James? There you go, I'll try to stay, somewhat see it. <laughs> So, uh, anyways, it somewhat glows in the dark. Uh, that I got it really. <laughs> you can see I need to. I need to do a little better on my sanding. I'm just not getting it. I got I don't know. <laughs> the, I mean, it, for the most part, it's it's what I wanted. It turned out like I wanted. The finish isn't great on it, and it, that's me. It's all me. I'm impatient probably <laughs> but I mean I can't really do too many too many pictures of it you can see the spiders in there which is really cool and of course I didn't put pole burn in it because it's plastic and that side so uh if I find anything from James from Texas I'll put it in the description below um I'll put po pictures at the end and um yeah, thumbs up or thumbs down, and we'll see you all next week.